What is the origin of blonde hair and why did it develop in the first place? Now only around 2% of the world's population has naturally blonde hair and it is found most commonly in Northern Europe and people who have ancestry that connects to Europe. But it is also found across the world, from North Africa to Asia, and it is even found amongst the native populations in places such as Fiji and the Solomon Islands. But why is this? Why does around 10% of the native population of the Solomon Islands have naturally blonde hair? Well, more on that later. In general, human hair colour is caused by varying amounts of two types of melanin, eumelanin and pheomelanin. Broadly speaking, the more melanin present, the darker the hair. Its tone depends on the ratio of black or brown eumelanin to yellow or red pheomelanin. People with blonde hair can have almost any proportion of pheomelanin and eumelanin, but they only have small amounts of both. Levels of melanin can vary over time, causing a person's hair to change colour throughout their life. Getting a lot of sun during the summer can also cause people with blonde hair to appear more blonde. I know my hair certainly lightens in the summer. Now the genetics of hair colour is pretty complicated and we are still fully trying to map and work out the exact mechanisms involved. We do know that there are at least 124 genes that play a significant role in determining human hair colour variation. Even within the blonde category, there are obviously many different shades of blonde, from ash blonde to strawberry blonde, with the latter being close to my hair colour. What hair colour do you have out of interest? Please let me know in the comments below. Now in Europe at least, it does seem that women are more likely to be naturally blonde than men. A 2018 study found that women of European descent are twice as likely to be naturally blonde, as it seems that women are more likely to keep their blonde genes throughout their life, yet men lose them for some reason. Now why is this the case? Well, although it's unclear exactly what the mechanism is, there are a few theories. One theory argues that it's more of an evolutionary mechanism. The blonde women are more likely to attract men, and men are more likely to be successful with women if they have dark hair. Another theory is to do with hormones. Studies in mice suggest that certain chemicals, as well as stress and hormone changes, could affect the way some of the pigment genes work. And this change could be more common in men, but again, these are just theories. I should note as well that various ancient cultures associated blonde hair with vitality and beauty. Aphrodite, the ancient Greek goddess of love and beauty, was described as having blonde hair. In Homer's The Iliad, which the movie Troy is based on with Brad Pitt, Homer presented the mythological hero Achilles as the ideal male warrior, handsome, tall, strong, and blonde. I should note as well that the Romans associated blondness with the Celts and the Germanic peoples to the north. But what are the origins of blonde hair? Well, ancient DNA analysis has revealed that the oldest fossil known to carry the mutated allele, RS1282256 of the KITLG gene, which is responsible for blonde hair in modern Europeans, is a 17,000 year old ancient North Eurasian specimen from southern Siberia. More specifically, the remains were from a complex of archaeological sites known as the Afontova Gora. The blonde allele was found in a site known as Avantova Gora III, where archaeologists found the remains of two different females, the atlas of an adult female and the mandible and five lower teeth of a teenage girl estimated to be around 14 to 15 years old. It seems that this blonde allele entered Europe by way of a massive population migration from the steppe area by the people who had substantial ancient North Eurasian ancestry. This migration was probably led by Eastern hunter-gatherers who carried this allele, with three Eastern hunter-gatherers from Sweden, Russia and Ukraine all having this allele associated with blonde hair, as detailed in the supplementary information of a study on the genomic history of southeastern Europe. Now I should note a few other important points at this stage. Blonde hair also seemed to be a feature of some of the Tarim Basin mummies, found in western China. Well, a 2021 study that looked at the genomic origins of these mummies found that the majority of their ancestry was ancient North Eurasian and connected to the Afontova Gora site, indicating that these Tarim mummies were people who migrated south from Siberia into modern China. Now, I should note as well that many scholars used to initially believe that the Yamnaya culture, a culture I've previously made videos on that was instrumental in spreading steppe-related ancestry into Europe, was also instrumental in spreading the traits of blonde hair and blue eyes into Europe. It seems this wasn't the case, however. A 2020 study, for instance, that examined more than 700 ancient genomes found that the Yamnaya were mainly brown-eyed, of intermediate complexion, and brown-haired. 
Amongst people of the Bell Beaker culture, however, which was connected to the Yamnaya culture but also mixed with the local Neolithic populations of Europe, it seems Beaker people had higher levels of both blue eyes and blonde hair. Now let's turn our attention to look at why blonde hair ever developed in the first place. What are the theories that explain this? Why do we not just all have brown hair? Why did blonde hair ever develop? And why was it selected for over time? Firstly, let's look at the curious case of the Solomon Islands. Considering that blonde hair is more common in people of North European ancestry, it's interesting that we see naturally blonde hair in somewhere like the Solomon Islands, a country of over 900 islands sitting northeast of Australia, with around 10% of the islanders having blonde afros, with little to no variation in the shade of blonde. Well, a 2012 study looked at this question. The authors first begin by noting how interesting the case of blonde hair in the Solomon Islands is. Strikingly, while individuals from the Solomon Islands and other locations in Oceania near the equator have both the darkest skin pigmentation outside of Africa, they also have the highest prevalence of blonde hair, 5-10% to outside of Europe. So how can we explain this? Well, it seems that a genetic variation is the reason why blonde hair developed in the Solomon Islands. The authors identified a cysteine to arginine change, a highly conserved residue, and tyrosinase related protein 1, TYRP1, as the single source of blonde hair in Solomon Islanders. This mesense mutation is predicted to impact catalytic activity of the protein and cause blonde hair through a recessive mode of inheritance. The novel mutation is at a frequency of around 26% in the Solomon Islands, but is absent outside of Oceania and represents the largest genetic effect on a visible human phenotype reported to date. So what this all means is that blonde hair seems to have evolved independently twice in human history, once in southern Siberia and once again in the Solomon Islands, which is pretty interesting to think that essentially blonde hair has evolved completely independently twice in human history. Now very quickly, before we move on to look at Europe, if you want to support this work, please consider buying me a coffee, top link in the video description below. Thank you for all your support, and now on with the video. So genetics is obviously one major reason why blonde hair developed, and in the Solomon Islands it's essentially the exclusive reason, the only reason for blonde hair developing. In Europe the picture is a wee bit more complicated. There are probably numerous other selective pressures in Europe, as well as obviously a clear genetic component that meant that blonde hair was selected for over time. One theory is the vitamin D hypothesis. In general, it is believed that lighter skin developed as it is more efficient at synthesising vitamin D from sunlight due to it having lower levels of melanin, and some argue that lighter hair essentially co-evolved with lighter skin. Another theory is around sexual selection. Some argue that blonde hair was selected for over time because blonde hair was considered more attractive. There is probably some truth to this, and this fondness of blonde hair seems to go back thousands of years. In the Greco-Roman world, for instance, prostitutes would often dye their hair blonde, using saffron dyes in order to attract more customers. In Norse mythology, Freya, a goddess associated with love, beauty, fertility, sex, war and gold, was depicted as having long flowing blonde hair. Still today, blonde is generally considered the most popular colour for women to dye their hair. So overall, I would say that there's a combination of all these factors that probably meant that in Europe at least, blonde hair evolved over time and was selected for over time. There's obviously the clear genetic component that seems to have originated in southern Siberia around 17,000 years ago, some sort of genetic variation, perhaps before that, but obviously we've got a sample from 17,000 years ago. And then obviously the Eastern and Hunter gatherers were probably one of the main vectors that helped the, the spread of this blonde allele into Europe. But obviously other selective pressures over time, the sexual selective pressure, maybe the vitamin D hypothesis as well, seem to all combine. That means that obviously blonde hair is so common in Europe today. In the Solomon Islands, it seems to be more of a straightforward picture. This genetic variation that led to blonde hair in the Solomon Islands seems to be the only reason essentially for blonde hair in the Solomon Islands. Speaking of blonde hair, what is the origin and reason for blue eyes? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you next time.